Europe during the Dark Ages was a very backward place indeed. Governed by superstition and dubious religious interpretations. By comparison, the technology of the Chinese was light years ahead. This was largely due to the Chinese invention of paper. Paper didn't reach the West until 1200 AD, more than a thousand years after its invention. Until about 500 years ago, the ideas of the ancient Greek scholars had been unquestionable. Ptolemy's sun-centered universe was the accepted model, and this had the full and often brutal backing of the church and state. It needed one of the most important inventions in history to turn this around. This invention was the printing press. The publication of new ideas allowed a great leap forward in our collective understanding. From this moment on, scientific progress was set to rocket. The fuse had been lit. There was no turning back. This was the Renaissance. Look up, man. Look up. Observe the stars, observe the way that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west lower and lower until it's gone. In 1543, Copernicus published his master work on the revolutions of celestial spheres. But at this time, his sun-centered description of the universe was widely ridiculed and largely ignored. It was blasphemous, but ridiculous. How could the Earth be moving? Surely we would feel the wind rushing past us. Why would the moon rotate around us when we rotate it around the sun? Utter nonsense. Copernicus had no answer to these questions. He had simply drawn conclusions from the data. And yet the evidence was there for the world to see. It just needed two lenses mounted in a tube to see it. Come on, man. man Look around. 